Aknabert is one of Artsakh's remotest villages. It's located in the Shahumyan region, near the Sarsang Reservoir. Aknabert is home to 140 families, most of whom are from the Artsakh Valley. We've lived here since 1995. In 1992, we fled the war and moved to Armenia. We moved back to Artsakh in 1995 and settled down here. Karen Agajanyan and his wife Marieta have six children. In 2017, they were provided with a brand new house through the Hayastan All Armenian Fund's Assistance to Artsakh Families with Multiple Children program. Karen says they couldn't even have dreamed of owning a house like this. I would not have been able to build or buy a house like this one. I had heard that houses were being built for families with six children. Well, we had five children. We decided to have a sixth so that we could have a good home and live in normal conditions. The Agajanyan's sixth child, David, is their angel, thanks to whom the family has been able to leave behind the dreadful living conditions it was stuck with. To get an idea of the change that has been brought to the life of the Agajanyans, it would be enough to see their old home. Some of the walls were crumbling and the door creaked. We constantly had to repair things. As Mrs. Marietta recalls, she and her husband had to go to great lengths to make the old home livable for their large family. I remember mixing cement and helping my husband lift those heavy concrete blocks and lay them on top of each other. I was pregnant then. There was nothing in this room. There were neither doors nor windows. It was a run-down, totally useless room. We didn't keep anything here. Whenever we had guests over, I hung pieces of clothing at the entrance so that it wouldn't show what terrible conditions we lived in. Now that we have a new house and a heavy weight has fallen off our shoulders, I can concentrate on providing for our children and giving them a good education. If we didn't have this house, I would have constantly worried about securing a decent place to live for my three boys and three girls. The new house has come fully furnished and featuring a full complement of amenities, including appliances. For Mrs. Marietta, all this still feels like an incredible dream. We have a big refrigerator, nothing like the one we had at our old place. We also have water now, the purest water imaginable. We have a stove which makes cooking so much easier. We didn't have a stove back then. I used to cook with wood fire. We also have great furniture, including tables. Now the children actually have fun helping clean the house. Whereas in our old home, no matter how much I clean things, it was never enough. Our classmates had homes like this. I wanted to have one too. The Arajanyas no longer feel shame when they have guests. Christine and Takuhi say everything has become easy and are thrilled to talk about the comforts of their new house. It's much more comfortable. I can shut the door and read a book for hours without being disturbed. The Arajanyan's oldest son, who is serving in the army, has not yet had a chance to enjoy the comforts of their new home. Everyone in the family is impatiently waiting for his return. I wish with all my heart that my son returns from his service safe and sound, gets married and lives with us in this house. The Arajanyans are convinced that the Hayastan All Armenian Fund's housing assistance program not only greatly improves the lives of large families, but is also a marvelous means to strengthen the bond between Artsakh residents and their land. I'm so happy and grateful to the Hayastan All Armenian Fund for doing such a wonderful thing for people. We're very happy that the organization has created such great conditions so that our children can have a normal life. Ever since 2015, the Hayastan All Armenian Fund has been building houses for families with five or more children in almost every region of Artsakh. As of summer 2017, 16 of these homes were already occupied and the construction of 15 more was to be completed soon. 
This means that 31 families, or a total of close to 250 people, will have the joy of living in brand new, fully furnished and comfortable homes.